What's up, y'all? Shire from The Working Code, and welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, hey. If you're a returning subscriber, what's up, girl? Hey, girl, hey. If you have already liked this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So, yeah, y'all, let's get into this talk about my VSG update. I am, let me see what today's date is. I am 10 months post VSG at a slimmer me in Tijuana, Mexico. Um, I started my journey at 422 in January of 2023. And by the time I went and got surgery in April, I was 385 the day of surgery. Um, for my pre-op diet, which started February 28th, I lost 44 pounds in 41 days. Um and yeah, I was 385. So today I got on a scale of 294. That was yesterday I got on a scale of 294. So in total, I've lost 128 pounds. My goal weight is to be 199 pounds. Um, maybe even smaller. Just gotta see how I look when I get there. But oof, excuse me, y'all. That's my goal weight to be 199. I just want to see that one on the scale, y'all. Like <laughs> I didn't see that one on the scale. Oh my god, when I see that one on the scale, it's gonna be over for anybody that thought it was begun for them. It's gonna be over in Finito Terminated. <laughs> Anyways, that's what's gonna happen when I get to 199. Um, yeah, so let's talk about my journey so far. Just basically, I'm gonna just give y'all the rundown. Um, I just got like some sections basically that I wanted to talk about. Basically, I just divided it up into some categories. So the first category is going to be my weight. Then we're going to talk about my food. Uh, we're going to talk about the body shape and the mental development and then exercise. So as far as my weight, I just kind of gave you all a rundown on my weight. So I do feel like I'm losing at a decent pace. Um, You know, I don't want to like push it too far. Like 128 pounds in a year's time is going, it's, that's good. I mean, let's just be for real. But um, I do feel like I could do better. And I should be doing better. It really just be the eating on time. I have to eat on time when my alarm goes off. I don't be on point with it like I should be. But I can and I will increase it and do a little bit better Um, and drinking my water. With that water, it says 60 ounces of water a day. I got my water bottle right here. I'm staring at it. Let me let me just go get it instead of just staring at it. Hold on. See, that be the stuff. Ugh. This be the kind of stuff right here that you be having to do. Like, see how I was just staring at my water? Let me just get it and just have a sip. All right, y'all. Excuse me. I can do better with drinking my water and eating more. What I eat, I do eat carbs occasionally. I would say processed carbs, not natural carbs. Um, Probably like once a day. I really should stop. Excuse me. When I was doing no carb, I was dropping a pound like this. But this week, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm going for my walks and I'm going to do it. Because I want to lose this last couple pounds, y'all. Like, I just can't imagine what I'm finna look like. Like, oh my God, it's crazy. I can't imagine. But like, I got to lose this last 90 pounds. Get this weight up off me. You hear me? So, yeah, back to what we were talking about. Um, The weight. So, I, I would be losing, I feel like, more if I ate more and drank more. And I don't mean more as in volume. I mean more as in frequency. Like, if I ate more of my meals. But I do have alarms set on my phone. Let me show y'all. I have alarms on my phone right here i do these every day those are what help me eat and drink on time like i'm supposed to if i didn't have these baby i don't know where i would be because i would be forgetting to eat and drink which is my problem which is what i would do i would be forgetting to eat and drink and so um because you just don't really have that sensation that hungry sensation so i would be forgetting so yeah i have set these alarms they really help me out with um doing everything keep getting everything done and making sure i stay on point next i have y'all excuse the room too just this is what we work with it's a long complicated story this is what we work with okay next um we got food so for the food that i be eating like i pretty much eat everything regular food like i'm not on no dietary restrictions or whatever but i do try to not eat like processed carbs and fried foods and only drink water now i will drink fruit juices which i probably shouldn't be drinking um, but I will drink fruit juice, like 
I love grapefruit juice. Like the kind just straight from Trader Joe's, tangerine juice, orange juice from Sam's Club. At our Sam's Club here, they fresh squeeze the orange juice out of the bottle. Um, they had oranges right there. They got this big old machine and they press it. Y'all, it be so good. It's immaculate. It's so refreshing. Like it's the best orange juice you ever had in your life. So, um, yeah, I be drinking. I do drink those kind of things or I will drink a sugar free drink, but I been drinking this one gram and shook one gram of sugar free. It's like one gram of fat and it's sugar free from ocean spray, but I'm finna stop drinking that. Well, I'm done with the bottle, so I'm not gonna buy no more because I don't wanna eat any more dyes, like artificial dyes, like red 40 and stuff like that. So, um, only if I eat something I don't know what's in there, but I'm gonna probably ask, or if I see that it's dyed red, which I could tell because I cook and make food, like if I see that it's dyed red, I'm not gonna eat it. So, um, yeah that's that um with the food trying to stop eating the preservatives and stuff i really mainly only shop at like farmers markets whole foods and trader joe's um yeah what else i do with the food i go to the grocery store like three four times a week that is what's going to help you trying to buy groceries and have it last for two weeks that's unrealistic baby food goes bad you need fresh food fresh fruits fresh vegetables there's no way you're eating what you're supposed to be eating if you are not um you know going to the grocery store on a regular basis to get fresh produce on a weekly basis like you should be going to the store at least once a week you really need to be going two to three times if you want your stuff to be fresh but at least once a week you should be going to the store i'm always at the grocery store i'm literally finna go downstairs now and cook me some sauce uh some cabbage because i want me some cabbage and i got a baby cabbage down there from trader joe's i'm gonna go make um but yeah, so far, as far as my food, I do eat out still, but I should stop eating out as much as I do. I don't feel like I overdo it, but I just do more than I should, if that makes sense. Um, candy. Yeah, I'm not into candy. I'm not into sweets, stuff like that. But lately, I haven't wanted some. I think it's because being on my period. But I'm not really into sweets and candy and desserts and stuff like that. So my main thing just be like eating the carbs. Like I love mashed potatoes, pasta, <sighs> love pasta, love dairy. I don't do bad, but I can I can do better. Um, but like I said, I don't have no restrictions, y'all. I eat everything that you know will encompass a regular diet. Um, and I try to eat snacks, which I'm not into. Like I just went down there and cut a watermelon. The watermelon ain't no good. Like pissed me off. I thought a watermelon was gonna be good. Watermelon was nasty. But I do be eating fruit. I need to stop eating fruit. Just try to stick to vegetables because the fruit will be having them sugars. And that sugar, you ain't gonna lose no weight with all that sugar. Um, yeah, so that's what we talking about for the food. Um, oh, I, I don't drink alcohol, no alcohol. I have had alcohol maybe three times. Yeah, I had alcohol three times this in the past 90 days. I drank for red birthday. That was the first time I drank all 2023. Red's birthday is in December. I drank a red birthday and then I had alcohol like twice this year. I had went out to a birthday dinner. And that same day I went to a birthday dinner and me and my mom went out to eat. And I had a cocktail at both events. Um, But I don't drink alcohol, y'all. Alcohol is not going to be your friend. You don't want to drink alcohol. It's not going to be your friend. And if you do drink anything, you need to drink a little bit of wine or just vodka or tequila like a shot. Um, you know, don't do the mixers, maybe squeeze you a little lemon juice in there or whatever, but don't drink alcohol, y'all. It's so much sugar in it, so much carbs, like it's not going to help you. So next is my body shape. Um, the body, let me just give y'all a view. The body, it's not, it's not bad. Y'all can't see the whole body, but this is the body. It's not bad. It's not bad, y'all. Um, I'm, of course, not to my goal weight. And you can see the stomach right here. Um, This is going to go when I get my tummy tuck, of course. <laughs> this is going to be gone. And then, like, I have a lot of hanging skin. Like, you can see right here in the arm. You can see where my arm really at. Like, this is just fat. This is my arm right here. All that, that's just flab. Um, the boobs, yeah, they hanging. You can see the boobs be hanging, and then from the back, you can see the arm and the roll. But it is what it is, y'all. It's just, it's just part of the journey. I'm still that girl. It don't change nothing. I'm still that girl. So this is the body. Um, it's kind of surprising me how the shape is 
coming in and where the weight is coming from but i do know that my hips are like kind of low which i like because i don't want to have hip dips but it is what it is i have them now but eventually i won't have them when i get everything you know done and finished and put together but for now i do have hip dips but it is what it is it's just a body and you know you can't control the weight it's coming off my face has slimmed down a lot um this is the face it's slimmed down the neck you can see a little clavicle just a little you know just small bit of clavicle coming through um so yeah that's what the body is giving my feet have lost weight i did go down a size or two in feet um in shoes i should say i i didn't go down a size or two but i have room now i still wear my 10s and my 11s but i think if i try to nine and a half i probably could fit it but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna just wait till i get smaller like i'm not gonna do no kind of shopping nothing y'all till i get smaller because like for what stuff don't fit right like this dress is big it's not huge but it's kind of big it's not as tight fitting as it should be it's a 3x i could probably go down to a 2x but it is what it is you know you just gotta roll with the punches and stuff um what else is i about to say and as far as my body i have noticed that my hands do seem a little more slim like i can see the veins and stuff in my hands more um i have noticed that and i've been noticing like the little clavicle now i don't like when the clavicle be hanging out too much on people because it make me sick it give me feed the children vibes it give me sick it give me the mummy it gives me egyptian mummies mummified in the pyramids I don't like to see the clavicle and the bones. So it be kind of freaking me out a little bit. Like, I don't want it to come out too much. Like, them people, you could just see it sticking out like blades. Uh, I don't like that. It give me dinosaur. I don't like that at all. But, like, it's coming through whatever. Child. Whatever. Um, I know a lot of people have asked me about, like, discoloration or whatever. I've honestly never experienced discoloration um, of the skin. People have experienced that from being, um like obese and i guess their body don't process the sugar well and stuff like that um and it makes their skin dark i never really had it um in like any places i know that some girls their skin be lighter and brighter um we'll see you know i still got almost 100 pounds to go uh but i haven't experienced that so i can't say uh next we got mental mentally i feel like i'm doing good i try not to be so hard on myself and i learned this from angelica y'all go follow her her instagram is angelica ray i think it's i am angelica ray she's the best love her my coach for life so basically like instead of trying to beat myself up about it like oh when i don't do stuff or don't be on point like i should instead of beating myself up about it i just say you know it's a matter of self-love like instead of trying to abuse yourself about it it's self-love like I am devoted to myself instead of being like disciplined instead of looking at it as discipline and like a harsh thing look at it as love like a devotion I love myself so much that I'm going to do this for myself I love myself so much I want myself to be in this position I love myself so much I'm not going to eat that I love myself so much I'm going to drink water because my body needs it like you have to look at it as a form of self love not dedication where you're like punishing yourself um it just doesn't work as well it's just not as effective when you're looking at it as the um punishment so i try to reframe my thinking of that like i love myself so much i'm not going to eat that sugary buttery stuff i love myself so much i'm not going to do whatever 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 you see what i'm saying y'all so that's a process that i'm still going through of course or whatever because it's a daily thing like i be wanting to eat stuff all the time but i just have to tell myself nope got a blast don't do it so yeah that's how that part goes y'all um and the other thing is it's kind of like a big mind fuck because like you are still getting used to the fact that you can't eat certain things or you can't eat the capacity that you're used to eating. Um, so, you know, you see things and you, I still have to be like, oh, I can't, I ain't gonna eat all of that. Like I'll buy food and I just throw it away. Wasting money on food. That's why I need to stop eating out. Just wasting, just wasting money. Like I got money. I do got money. I got money. I do got money. Money flows to me. Abundance flows to me endlessly. I do got money, but I just be wasting food. Like why am I wasting food? I be looking at stuff and I be like, oh, I like that. It take me three days to eat it. Like, what did I get it for? I don't know. I got to stop doing that. And so you have to, your brain has to catch up with the, with the process that's going on in your body. Um, yeah. So that's what I need. I need my brain to catch up. Uh, it's still coming. It's still a work in progress, but we're making it. That's all that counts. That's, that's all that matters is that you make it. That's all that matters. Um, next is going to be oh yeah hold on and with the mental 
at your, um, with the mental, you need to, you know, meditate, get your mind right. You know, some of y'all, I know y'all be having really low self-esteem. Y'all let everything get to y'all and y'all be down bad and sad. I'm not one of those girls, but what I will tell you is if stuff make you feel bad, you need to unfollow it, block it, whatever, get rid of it. I'm not one of them girls. I can see anything and I know I'm still that girl. Like, it don't affect me in that way, but if it does, you need to get rid of it. And if you have a addiction to food, you be crying because you can't eat certain foods and you can't get over it like you just want to eat, eat, eat because, you know, you're going through things emotionally or, um, yeah, just emotional turmoil that you're going through and your outlet is eating. Like, you just got to keep working on that, sis. You got to find you a hobby. Like, it's so many things I had to do. Garden, cook, get into coffee, shoes, clothes, painting nails, crocheting, pottery. Like, just find you a hobby. You need to get you something to do. Find you a hobby and chew gum. Chew gum and the gum will help you. Last but not least is exercise. Y'all, I don't exercise. Period. End of sentence. I don't exercise. Period. Um, I should and I will, but I don't. That's just what it is. Um, and yes, I have all lost all my weight without exercise. And the most I do is I go for a walk and maybe I can do like two miles. Um, going for a walk at a decent pace. Not jogging, none of that, running, walking. Regular walking, like you walk when you walk it through Linux Square Mall walk that's about it okay um i want to exercise i want to go back to boxing i used to box i want to go back to boxing um that's the only thing i can really see myself doing that i actually really enjoy like i don't be liking boot camp all that kind of stuff and i want to do the aerial aerobic stuff i also want to do a stripper pole class i've done it before i did chair dance too but i want to do the aerial stuff like where they have the bungee cord on them and then they be jumping and stuff like they insert their sole yeah definitely want to do that I'm uh, trying to think of some other things I would possibly want to do. Can't think. But boxing is the only thing I've ever done I really actually enjoy. Like, I used to kind of like Zumba, but, um, yeah. So, I'm trying to think. As far as exercise go, I don't do it, y'all. Never. And I do be doing some stretching videos on YouTube, stretching my body out. Because the body do be needing to be stretched out. Like, the kinks be kinking. Like, I be kinked up. Anyway, so that's what's been going on with my life y'all that's my vsg check-in so we'll do this again um in a couple months y'all everything's going good everything's on track scars healing good um i haven't had any problems i did find out that i'm vitamin d deficient so my doctor has been taking fifty thousand grams of vitamin d twice a week which reminds me i need to take it today um but i did find that out other than that y'all haven't had no problems like vsg been doing me good and i've been doing good by vsg so yeah, if you got any questions for me or whatever, leave it in the comments and I'll answer as best as, best as I can. Follow me on TikTok at The Working Code, Instagram at Bushyfondo, Facebook, Shira The Working Code Simmons. Like, y'all follow me, check in on me. I be posting all the time on all the platforms. Ask me any questions, but that is my 10-month post-op experience with BSG. So, if you haven't already liked this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see y'all next time.